Sometimes you can see so many stars, it looks like they're stacked on top of each other. But have you ever wondered just how much space is actually between them? Hi there, Andy here. There are hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy, and all of them are made of the same stuff. Stars are massive, super hot balls of gas that are mostly hydrogen and helium. The center of a star generates a lot of energy, which is what makes a star so hot. Energy is also what makes a star glow. The more energy a star produces, the brighter it glows. But how bright a star looks from Earth also depends on how far away it is. The Sun is the closest star to our planet. It's about 93 million miles away, or 150 million kilometers. Since the Sun is so close, it looks like the brightest star in the sky. But there are a lot of stars that outshine the Sun. They just don't look as bright because they're much farther away. In fact, except for the Sun, stars are so far that their distance is measured in light years instead of miles or kilometers. A light year is the distance light travels in one Earth year. One light year is about 6 trillion miles or 9 trillion kilometers. One of the brightest stars in the sky is Sirius A. It's about 9 light years from Earth, but if it were placed next to the Sun, it would look more than 20 times brighter. So we know that stars are really, really far away from Earth. But how far away are they from each other? To find out, let's take a look at the Big Dipper, which is part of the constellation Ursa Major. From Earth, the stars that make up the Big Dipper look like their neighbors, but there's actually a huge distance between them. If we could zoom out into space and see the same stars from the side, the Dipper disappears and you'd see that the stars differ in distance and position. They vary between 50 and 120 light years from Earth. Despite the distance, grouping stars that look close by is really helpful when you're out stargazing. Constellations help us tell which stars are which. They're kind of like the maps of our galaxy, which is the Milky Way. The next time you look up at the night sky, search for a constellation and think about how far away each star is from Earth. And then think about how far each star is from its very distant neighbor. If you want to learn more about galaxies and build your own map of the stars, check out our Tinker Planetarium crate on kiwico.com. We have a bunch of hands-on projects that will launch you into outer space. And you can watch our video here if you want to learn more about the constellations you can see from your backyard.